Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm going to do a song now. Uh, I'm not going to do a song. Yeah, I'm not I'm going to perform a song. No. I'm going to uh, give you my reaction and discussion about a song that I already know. Because if you've seen uh, my other video, I've only got one up at the moment, but you know, hopefully my other videos eventually, you'll see that I, I do play songs that I already know. It's not like a reaction to something I've never heard before. But the reason I'm doing this one is that I reference it quite a lot when I'm talking about what I consider to be extreme. Now, I know there are more extreme things out there, but what I mean by extreme, I mean extreme, but still listenable. They're not like white noise with a <laughs> underneath. Well, <laughs> yeah, but it, it, they're not. It's not so out there that it's unlistenable, okay? In my opinion. Um, this is a song called The Violation by Flesh God Apocalypse. Um, this is not your newbie song. You don't take somebody who has no idea about metal and go, oh, there you go, have that, that if, see if you like it, because they're not gonna, they're not gonna. So without further ado, I'll get on to The Violation by Flesh God Apocalypse. Turn it right up and strap yourself in. No messing. No messing. But it's orchestral. This is genius. And that blast beat is something else It's relentless. It, it's... It's... We're not messing about. There is no messing. Just kill! That's such a great counterpoint in what is a huge boulder of a song rolling downhill. It, it, all the elements piled on top of each other with that relentless blast underneath. You're still with me? Is anyone out there still with me? My feet are going right now. Bah, 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 bah. I do play the drums, by the way. Nothing like this.
Amazing. The sound hasn't gone. I was just going. I'm struggling for words. This is not something I normally do. to use a different thing to play my songs because I'm using iTunes over here and it immediately jumps into the next song and um, that was just why you <laughs> at the end there um, my bad Flesh God Apocalypse is brilliant it's genius now if you're not into metal or you're just getting into metal or you think I am made and it's metal then you're not gonna cope with Flesh God Apocalypse pr almost certainly I may be wrong but I, I don't think I am um, because it's it's something that you have to grow towards. You have to go through other things. You have to get you have to get over the the, the rawr, cookie monster vocals, um, which takes a long time. Um, and it's it's intensity. It's you know it's up there, isn't it? Let's face it. Um, but it blasts. That's the first song I ever heard by Flesh God Apocalypse. Somebody sent me a video um, years ago when it came out and said, <laughs> listen to this, you know, this is, this is ridiculous. And I heard it and I was hooked immediately. I was just like, oh my God. So I went and got the uh, album, which is called Agony. And it's great. And as it happens, I don't think that this is the best song on the album. I think this is an amazing introduction to, to this kind of music and, and, and to Flesh God Apocalypse. Um, but the first half of Agony is kind of, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like the violation and then the second half has much more operatic uh, elements in, in it and and I think that gives this music more feeling and and I actually like the second half of this album more I, I love the first half don't, don't get me wrong I don't think I don't like it I love it but I like the second half even more and then they brought out the labyrinth was it? And I better check my facts because there's nothing worse than being than saying the wrong thing. Labyrinth, yes. Which yeah, it wasn't. It didn't hit me the same way as Agony did. Um, but then the last album brought in in 2016 was King. That's my favourite Flesh God album. It is. It's a maze balls. And the, and like I say, they've got so many orchestral elements into it that if you buy King. I don't know whether this was the old versions, but the version I got, if you buy it, you get an, an orchestral version of, of the album at the same time. And it's all these elements that people who are not into metal will not hear. They, they will not pick up on, on, you know, the violation that you've just heard is full of violins, full of string sections and, and everything. And admittedly, it's all rather manic. You know, but... But it's all there, it's all carefully interwoven, it's all brilliantly put together. The violation by Flesh God Apocalypse, you will hear me reference this when I'm talking about something and, and, and I want an extreme example. This is the song I'm referencing. So uh, if you liked it or you hated it, that's fine. Let me know. Um, I think at the end of these videos I'm supposed to say like and subscribe, but it's up to you. you know, let's face it, I'm going to do these whether you like it or not. You can't stop me. Though YouTube's having a go with uh, trying to stop me with uh, copyright infringements. Um, yeah, I'll probably reference that every video too. Anyway, thanks a lot. Bye bye. <laughs>